Hello everyone, today I would like to introduce to you Hollis King, a great artist, illustrator, photographer, creator of so many amazing ideas and the creative director of Restoration Art Center and most importantly my dearest, dearest friend. This work has been done during the pandemic in the last two years. And I was looking for meaning in all of this chaos. And so I started making things because I, I, I didn't know the world was coming to an end. I didn't know where we were going. I was so confused and I realized the only thing I can do to keep me sane is to make art. But make art like I was going to die tomorrow. So when you come to see the show, we're breaking stereotypes, uh, we're building headpieces, we're introducing interesting fabrics, uh, we are shooting women that are not first to be thought of as beautiful, but when you look at them, they look amazing. So Uncommon Beauty is to celebrate the parts of us that maybe other people don't. So hence the title, Uncommon Beauty at Jankoi Studios. This is a photography project, you know, as you know, I'm a multidisciplinary artist. I think of each medium I use as a tool to express an idea. So I, I don't classify myself in any specific way. What I'd like to think of is a person who put skin and bones to ideas that start up here and then you share them with people, you know. So yeah, this is all photography and they're five foot tall. The pictures jump out at you. Uh, we spent a lot of time experimenting with papers and with printing techniques to make these images. Holy Studio is like a big creative house full of different fabrics, <laughs> paintings, crowns, like you said, um, installations, different, different thing. And every time when you come to his studio, he will create something amazing with you, like a portrait. And I think that also gives something special for the person to see himself in another way, how he could be you know, creative and how he can look. Because every time I saw people's reaction and my own reaction when I saw pictures, it's like, wow, this is me. <laughs> I look so good. I didn't even know. Uh, so let me tell me a little bit about, you know, people and who you cast and how the process works. I think there is a process. I think part of the studio is the things I collect, right? things that interest me. And then the other thing I collect are people, especially people with kindness and good hearts and stuff. People that I think have something to offer. And so I always sit and talk to the person and I don't know what we're going to make. I really never know what we're going to make. And then we start playing. And I think such an important part we, we forget about making art is the play section of it, where we act like we're four-year-olds, and we take fabrics, and we take things that have different functions, but repurpose it for what we're trying to do. So I will take the steel spot, uh, the steel scrubbing things that you use for pots, and I'll make a necklace with it. And people would first think it's ridiculous, but I would think it's so beautiful. Just to repurpose something that people use for one thing and change it, right? Tell another story with it. Because a photograph can be many different things, right? A photograph can be an agreement between two people. I'm going to show you this, I'm going to stand like this and we're going to take a picture. It's a pantomime, it's a, it's a play. But the, the photographs that are more interesting to me are the ones where people open up 
and show you their insides and show you their soul. And they are opening up so you can get in and have a truly heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Those are the images that thrill me. And nobody else knows exactly what the conversation was, but they feel it in the photo. The photo is completely different, you know? And so I enjoy meeting the people, having the conversation, making the photo and watching their responses. They sometimes see different things in themselves. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the joy of it. That's what makes it so special. Like it's not a, just a set designed shoot. Yeah. Um, like you, you said it right. Like it just shows you the inner, the inner spirit of the person. Yeah. And the, the sets, all the visual uh, aesthetics of it is like a helping hand. It's just like a tool to get that out. Yeah. One thing we both have in common is we love crafting, we love fabrics, we love things that are made by hand that shows you almost like anthropology of humans by the way they embraced the fabric, how they tied the edges and beaded it. I mean, this love that the person puts in it, you also find in the photo because you can feel the love in it. Mm -hmm. So I think the whole process for us is I mean, I feel, in general, my role is to make a picture that will help us feel more loving, more kind, more human. The way, to me, the way you all have interpreted fashion and design, the messages that are in, imprinted into the clothing, the crafting of the shoes, the ribbons, all of the details that most people don't think of is really well thought and executed here. Thank you, Father. So, you know, <laughs> I, I, wear, I wear my shoes almost every day. You know, I wear my, my pants because they just feel so luxurious and comfortable. They're also heavy enough in the winter that it keeps me warm, you know. And the bottoms, like socks, they just lock in the heat. I love my Jankoi pieces. Great job. See you Thursday, March 31st, uh, at Jankoi Studio, which is located at Restoration Plaza, 1360 Fulton Street. Um, and you need to take stairs up. We are at Mezzanine. Come to the hottest event, uh, Uncommon Beauty, a celebratory look of oneself. Yes. Looking forward to seeing all of you. Um, it's a beautiful space. It's like no other you have seen. It's iconoclastic and it works. So these pictures are going to be in this beautiful space and we look forward to seeing all of you. Please come, but come prepared to have some fun. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> 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 <laughs>